A question I've been asking myself lately is how much does an iOS freelance developer actually make? So I did a little bit of research and now I'm going to share that with y'all. First, you know, we see the rates, a lot of rates through the roof. We see a lot of people thinking they're charging $200, $300 an hour for certain freelance services. But what I've found is that the average iOS de developer freelancer is charging around $50 to $100 per hour. And, you know, I, I would see that everywhere, but I kept asking myself, well, how many hours do these projects that they're charging $100 an hour take? And that was really the harder part of this, because, you know, you can type in anything like, how much does an iOS freelancer charge as an hourly rate? And you'll see all those. You'll see people charging $75. You'll see people offshore charging $30 an hour, but, you know, you if, you, if you're going offshore, you're not going to be as trusting in that person as if you were if they were here in the United States and then you see people charging you know 150 200 dollars an hour and you know that's on the higher scale so the average is somewhere between 50 to 100 dollars per hour the next question like I said is how much time is spent on these projects so I found that out as well simple apps are around 70 to 140 hours the simple app is where everything is installed on the phone, where it's not using some type of back-end database. And sometimes even these are used using templates or some type of drop-down menu. Those take around 70 to 140 hours. The next one down is a database supported app, which take around 140 to 210 hours. And this is where you have data stored on server or, or some type of database integration, whether it's back-end as a service or something like that. It should take around 140 to 210 hours and that's what I think that a lot of people are going to be doing so things like social media applications I feel like those are more in the realm of the database supported application because the next one down is an enterprise app enterprise app takes about 210 or more hours to complete and that has a lot of business integration and data is stored on the device as well as the server and then the next one is game development so a game application and these take, you know, twice the last one, which is around 420 plus hours to complete, whether it's multiplayer or single player. Of course, it all varies with what kind of graphics you want, whether it's something like Flappy Bird, which, I, it, you know, knowing what Flappy Bird takes, it doesn't take as long as 420 hours. But they're thinking more like what you can think of and what you can create, not something that's already been created. And that takes, you know, over 400 hours. So let's go back, the database supported application, I did the math with about 200 hours, you know, that was the one between 140 and 210 hours, so I, I did it at, at an even number of 200 hours. So if you're starting out charging $50 per hour and it takes you 200 hours to complete this application, then that is a $10,000 application. And another tidbit of information is a lot of these developers, the iOS freelancers, work about five to six billable hours per day or or 25 billable hours per week is what a lot of people are saying because you know they have to have time to work on the clients work but as well as promote themselves do all of the other business things that come with being an iOS freelancer so they can't just sit there and code for 10 hours a day if they have to do all the other things of course if there's a deadline that needs to be met then they'll work 10 hours a day or more but on average it's about five hours per day I'll say so at 200 hours working five hours per day that's 40 days of work so if we take that and we're working five days a week, then that is eight weeks it takes to build one of these. So that's $10,000 over eight weeks. If you work a little bit more, a little bit harder, a little bit more on the weekends, then you could probably, you know, your range is probably somewhere between six to eight weeks long. So this could allow you to build somewhere from six to eight applications a year if you don't have much downtime. Let's say you charge $50 per hour and you have a total of 12 weeks of downtime. That allows you to build five applications a year if it takes you eight weeks exactly to build one of those applications. Of course, this is all in theory. Things change. Sometimes it may be shorter. Sometimes it may be a lot longer. But if you look at it this way, you're charging per hour, not per project. So if you're going to take longer on a project, you're still getting paid $50 per hour. You just may have less downtime. But let's just say you have 12 weeks of downtime where you know in between each project you have a couple weeks where you're trying to gather some more information trying to find new clients and things of that nature building those five projects 
as you can see, five times 10,000 is $50,000 per year. So that is probably on the lower scale. If you were to charge somewhere around $100 per hour and you completed each project within a six week span and you had those same 12 weeks of downtime, this would allow you to build six apps per year and be well into your seventh towards the end of the year. So this would bring you around $120,000 to $140,000 per year if you were working 40 weeks, charging $100 per hour, working about five hours per weekday. And you very well may be able to cut down on that downtime. So in all reality, you, you could be looking at making somewhere around $50,000 per year if you're charging $50 an hour and you have 12 weeks of downtime and it takes you eight weeks per project. So that means you're only able to build five projects per year up to about $170,000 per year. If you charge $100 per hour, it takes you six weeks to complete each one and you don't have like any downtime. You know, you have clients back to back to back. And chances are, if you're charging $100 an hour and people are wanting your service, then you are good enough to be able to have clients back to back to back. That's not what you're gonna start off making, most likely, but $50,000 is a very good starting point if you ask me. That is how much an iOS freelance developer could make in a year. I really hope this helped you guys out and I'm really interested in this topic because I plan on becoming an iOS freelance developer. Right now on this YouTube channel I am tracking my progress of you know from zero to app, uh, my iOS development journey really and I'm taking a course right now. I plan on building my app and actually building the app into a business. So at that time I'll be taking on clients and when I don't have clients I'll be building my own applications that will potentially bring me revenue. So I hope you guys join my journey. Be sure to subscribe, like, and comment down below for any questions. Have a good one.